All right, I'm on top of a old mining kiln here. There's the hole up. I noticed it when I was walking along the small track at the base of the hill fort. There's a tree growing out of it there. And down below there's a proper shape of a entrance to a kiln. Evidence of the activity that would be taking place around here. So I just I thought I'd do a little video of it. Just to um there's the wall there. Some of the old stones lying about look like that. See that's an old stone. Probably formed part of it. And it's sort of um, embedded in this. What you've got to remember that these trees probably weren't here. This would have all been cleared here. This would have been a very busy area. The miners wouldn't have been having to negotiate all these tre little trees. Uh, the whole of this area would have been extremely busy. And uh, this is probably just, this is a good one that's remaining, really. Um, still standing. I mean, it's from the Victorian age. You can even see the the white on the brick slope where the this is part of a kiln, an active kiln, probably even bigger. But a feature that we see when we're exploring the area of outstanding beauty and the Mendips and Rowbarrow and Dolbury Warren. I guess once again you can find all these things online about the kilns and the lead mining and the activity that took place in this area. Now my cousin Barbara in Canada, she's a times three cousin, but we share a great great grandmother. Her family emigrated around about just prior to the First World War, her branch of Fletcher's. But one of her great grandmothers was from from this area, from Rowbarrow, Shipham, all around that way. I've got the exact place. They moved to Weston with her father, the Hales family. So you can go that way, by the way, and get onto a track going up either into Rowbarrow, Warren, or. But we're going to follow this this track. We're carrying on following this track. Yeah, so her, she's got ancestors from this area who were miners and agricultural labourers. So it's got a personal connection as well in a strange sort of way. So it's tucked in there, the, um, the old kiln. And there's probably more dotted about. The kilns were there to smelt the lead out of the ore. Just in case you wonder why we want a kiln. Because some people might not realise. We haven't all examined the lead mining technicalities. Well, I haven't either in details, but uh, I come across them so often, these kilns. Tucked in the Tucked in the side there, and there would have been a, probably a miner's dwelling around here as well at one point. Some would have stayed out here. Some would have lived in the local villages. Like I said, Cousin Barbara in Canada has ancestors from this, from this area. Although there, there was some doubt, but definitely her father and his second wife um, fit all, and her brothers and her great grandmother's brothers and sisters all fit the bill 
It's just that when she got married, this girl, they didn't spell the mother's second name properly. Uh, it, it's, it's a very weird spelling and um, I've even located her great-grandmother's what would be her great-great-grandmother's grave in Milton Road Cemetery and the details of her burial. I've got all that history and that th through her other great-grandmother, the, the Stall, Elizabeth Stall, we were able to track them to here and the hell, sometimes known as Heel. There's so many name variations. There's hells and hills. And uh, Joshua Jacob. Hell, sometimes heel. Same bloke, but he often varied that name. Until he left to live in... Uh, He also left to, to live in another country as well, which I've got all the details about that. Uh, all their passenger lists, boats they were on, everything. I've got loads and loads of information. Because that's what I, that's my other hobby, family tree. My own family tree. And other people with connections or associations through marriage I do as well I'm doing David Bowie's tree he's got a wood in the family and he's got a another name which Zara's got in her family from up north as well um I just can't think. Is this his mother's maiden name? I can't remember it now. Um, but anyway, I've done a lot, of, a lot on that that side of the tree. Yeah. Right, we're getting to wider and wider up this track. We'll join a another track which branches off in a minute round there. That's where you can get the route up to the hill fort again, you climb up. We're, we're almost approaching that um, bottom of the hill fort from this end now. If you just wanted to do a circular walk from where I was back there, where you can park. <coughs> Hello! Right, I just got to turn off a minute. 